Hey guys, it's Brenna, like, as you know, but um, for this one I'm not going to be narrating and I'm going, and I don't think this is going to be edited either, so I might be pausing a lot, but I just really wanted to make a video where I'm going to put on my makeup just because I have a lot of moves and I just got back from my first RA meeting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, you know, screaming on the inside, but that's me usually. So I have a lot of stories to tell. But anyway, so I was more or less crapping myself this entire time. Oh, by the way, I got new foundation. This is Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It was like $25, but I got it because like I don't like buying concealer. And I'm like, well, I can just put more on because, you know, I have no shame. If I don't want and that. But anyway, so I just got back from my first RE meeting. And I'm crapping myself the entire time because, like, bad memories from elementary school and things. I'm just like, I don't even know if I'm going to make friends or, like, what's going to happen. Everybody here has been doing this longer than I have. Like, but then I got in there, I'm like, it was all the new RAs, but some people still knew each other. And, like, some people still knew Julian, who's my supervisor. And, um, I don't know, it's like... I wore a white linen shirt to go to this meeting at 7 p.m. on in my dorm room, like common room. I really hope that's even anyway. Also, I am Shine City because we have no air conditioning in this building and also no hot water, so you know, that grease life is working out well for me. But yeah, so it was. My meeting tonight was the meeting of all the new RAs to meet Julian and to get like the beginning taste of our schedules and to meet each other. And um, today's just been a day because before that I moved into my new dorm, which is a lot bigger than what I had last year. And as you can see, like there's no bookshelf or anything behind me, but my desk and my fridge and everything. And it's just me and my grandma moving everything in. Anyway, going to contour with Caruso with my The Balm Voyage palette. I think I've used this before, but I just love it and I just like to show you guys if I still have it. But anyway, um, I forgot where it was. Yeah, anyway, so it was move-in day for me too. And it was just me and my grandma moving things in. And my grandma is like 5'9", and we had to move a fridge together. So it's been a little bit of a day. And I've just been sweating this entire weekend because I'm s like, there was no schedule, there was no, um, like, itinerary given to us. And I'm the type of person that needs to know what's going on for the next three days, three days in advance. I just, I don't fare well not knowing what's happening. Nice. Yeah. You know, at least all the sweat and things, nice highlighter see <laughs> but um yeah so you know I am on such a rapid tangent with this but I'm kind of nervous because I don't really know anybody and I come off like I said I wear a linen shirt to our first meeting at seven o'clock in our dorm room and I look like I'm overdressed for everything and I'm just like, I'm not fun, I don't feel like I'm fun. Some people tell me I'm fun, I think they're just doing it to be nice. It's just kind of matte out some places. I don't want to like outshine the sun unintentionally. But um, yeah, so I got up there and yeah, I was kind of awkward. I brought up my dad for some reason and just like, they were like, oh, you need three fun facts about yourself. So I'm like, oh, well, my dad's a tattoo artist because I saw some tattoo on um, someone else's leg and just saying all these things. And I'm just like, I'm so uptight about everything. It's embarrassing. Anyway, that was my e.l.f. perfecting powder or my fle from this angle. Yeah. So on top of moving in and everything, I also shattered one of these, so this is new. And um, yeah, it's six dollars and I'm going to be taking this everywhere with me because I'm just a little greasy butterball up in here. 
cute little butterball, a greasy little butterball. Anyway, um, the highlighter from this has a name that I cannot pronounce, but I'm going to try. It's Ku Kuwakari Bisha Luminizer. And just, see, let's just make that kind of gold. I don't know. Yeah, I also walked in there with a full face of makeup, and it's just, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. And I guess that's the scary part, is that I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not used to being in situations where I don't know what I'm doing. I usually do know, like, what I'm doing, and I can walk in confidently, but this time I'm like, I was just like, do they expect me to be fun? Do they expect me to be professional? How do I secure this so that I can be an RE next year, too? Like, this is kind of my key to, like, continuing my education. So, it's a bit of pressure, and I guess, like... I pushed myself a little bit in that aspect. Also, just a quick break, my eyebrows. Nice. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. Like, it is kind of scary to use the first time, but thing is, it's like you buy this much, and then you don't have to buy eyebrow product until this dries out, or, you know, you use it all up, which I think, by the looks of it, is going to be like two years. And then I have the a little bit better than sex, um, Mascara by Too Faced. I can't get the glare off of this thing. And yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but um, it's just been a crazy day and it's like all the tension and everything has come to a head. Because I don't, I'm like going backwards through my day and my day started with me waking up to a message from what used to be my boyfriend. And you probably know where I'm going by now. So, yeah, he woke up and broke up with me over text, and I'm just like, it's like, I'm not even upset, at, or like, well, I am kind of upset, because that's kind of a dick thing to do, you don't break up with people over text. So, no, but I was more pissed about the fact, I'm like, you really gotta drop this on me today, it's moving day. I don't want, I don't even have time to think about this, or to process this. So I just said like, okay, whatever, goodbye. And I'm like, I don't know if that's going to be a healthy way to process things, but right now I don't have time to think about that. Also, I'm using the same bronzer to just put some shading around my eyes. I don't really know what this is going to look like yet, so we'll figure it out along the way. So yeah, it's been, it's been quite a day, but we got another schedule for um, RA training, and... Um, we have to go on this little retreat thing, but people say it's going to be like a really grueling experience, but a really rewarding one too. So I'm, re I'm looking forward to it. I'm just hoping that I can make friends with people because, um, I don't know, we're all just really awkward and I still feel like I come off stiff. So tomorrow I'm really going to like, if I see people, I'm really going to make an effort to chill the heck out, which is kind of hard for me to do, but... I'm gonna give it an A plus try so that I can have a good year with these people. I don't know, I have a lot of goals for this next school year. I'm a, I'm a sophomore now and I really need to figure out like what exactly are you am I working for? What do I want in things? And people will graduate without knowing that, but I would like to at least have a plan of just like, what am I doing three years down the line after I graduate? What's going to happen? I want my MBA and I'm probably going to get it here. And I'm, and on um, the track that I'm on, I might end up getting an MBA within four years. And that's terrifying because who's going to hire a 22 year old with an MBA? <laughs> um, so yeah, I just unloaded a lot here, but, um, I'm really hoping that I can mentally prepare myself to face everything that I'm going to, and now I'm going. I'm going to use this. I haven't used it before. Um, Rimmel Magical Eyes in this like bronzy thing, bronzy in the gold colors. But yeah, so I am. I don't know, I guess I'm learning along the way. And it's frustrating, it's very frustrating. But I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So, I hope that 
you know what, like, I'll learn to enjoy myself and not take myself as seriously because that's going to be the death of me. And I did not do my inner corner when I started this. No, I didn't. So, just take care of that. Yeah. Clean my shadow up with a base of powder. But yeah, so, I don't know, it's a lot of anxiety. I feel like I have a reputation to keep, even though these, none of these people know me. It's like, I like my image, I like being professional, and I like knowing how to get things done. I like being the person that people come to when everything's going down the drain. I like being the one that's like, oh, you can handle everything calmly and you can solve problems and I can but I also need to learn how to like loosen up so I'm doing my best I'm really hoping that this job helps me out with it because I'm not going to survive in this job without it yeah but um, we'll see what happens Another thing that's kind of like clashing right now is the fact that like my supervisor is a really open, like he's a really cool guy who um, that worked out decently on one side. Nice. But um, he's a really cool guy where he's just like, he just wants us to have fun, to get to know ourselves and get to know each other, and I'm here and I'm just like, I hold all my cards right here, up against my chest, you will never see me let it down, unless I really, really trust you, and I'm just, and I'm trying to like let that down a little bit, let that go, people don't need to be scared of me in order to respect me, type of thing. And this is the Sephora Waterproof in Bronze Glitter, so um, yeah, I'm really doing my best here. So, let's hope this goes well as well. I'm using a camera to do my eyeliner. Nice. I like bronze eyeliner because it's like really subtle, but it's just enough so that you're like, ooh, there's something there. But, um, yeah, so I'm learning a lot here. It's kind of weird, though, to be here without like a floor full of people and I got used to having my old roommate from last year and she was just a dream I really lucked out with her and I don't know if she'll ever see that but yeah I've told her a bunch of times that like man you're gonna just one day just punch me in the mouth because in comparison I'm just like I'm a little bit of a mess if I get really excited about things and Sometimes I was a mess and she was just like, it's okay, it's on your side of the room. And meanwhile, my mom would see that and just be like, oh my goodness, if I were your roommate, I would kill you. And I'm just like, yeah, if I were my roommate, I'd kill me too. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where this really came from. I guess I just kind of feel like new with a bunch of people I don't know. But it will be okay. That's what I need to tell myself and it's that it's gonna be okay. One of my friends sent me a um that's uneven but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> mm hmm I gotta take this attitude to a lot more things in my life. So yeah, but um I'm learning. It's a lot of responsibility to be here and I just want to make sure that I do my best with it to make sure that people like me here and that's I don't know that's also a hard thing because I'd like to be also be that person where it's like I do what I want I don't ask anybody else for permission but here it's like you have a reputation you are leading other people so they need to know that you you are someone to follow I'm like yeah but at the same time I'm like I'm 5'3 who's who is kidding here. Um, oh no. So, yeah. Makeup struggle. When you try and put blush on with your fingers and then you put too much on in one piece. So 
p.m. This is um crap lighting, and probably going to be a, a bit of a doozy of a makeup look for the day, but it's okay. Because I'm learning to be okay with not looking perfect all the time. And I, I think, I think it's a good thing to know. So anyway, some last bit of lipstick. This is Natural Beauty and Cream by Lancome, I'm pretty sure. My grandma gets these whenever she buys stuff from Lancome because she gets like the bonus boxes and so she um doesn't wear anything in those so she just gives them to me I'm like yeah grandma is the MVP mm, I don't like it in this light but yeah so This is final look. This is end of the day. Another one tomorrow. I'll keep you updated. Thanks whoever is watching this, if any of the buddies watching this. So, and I will likely see you soon.